Agents. Well, now to uh, County Westmead and to the story of a woman whose passion for writing and for art was such that it inspired her to publish her own books. Maria Malaki visited Dolores Keevney to find out why a 62-year-old grandmother from Mullingar was moved to get into self-publishing. Dolores Keevney enjoys nothing more than being surrounded by nature with a sketch pad and pencil in her hand. Her love for art started 30 years ago when she attended an art course in her hometown of Mullingar. After completing the course, she painted for pleasure. Then, four years ago, Dolores was inspired by two of her grandchildren to write her first children's book, illustrated by her own paintings. The writing came completely out of the blue. It was like I, I, I was um, in a different world. It happened to me four years ago. I had been uh, resting because I had a slight uh, injury in my neck and my hand, and I had been resting, and I was very bored, and I took out my paints, and I painted loads and loads and loads of flowers. And one night I woke up with a bee poem in my head. And I said, what is, I sat up and I said, what is this about? What should I do with this? So I took up a pen and I wrote it down. And uh, the next day, I looked at it and my neighbor, uh, who's an artist, looked at it and she said to me, I, and I looked, I said, have I a book here? And that's how I started the book. Dolores contacted many publishers in Ireland and the UK, but unfortunately they weren't interested in publishing her first book, If I Were a Bee. Not deterred by their rejections, she made the brave decision to self-publish, using some of her savings. The road of self-publishing is not an easy one, but I wasn't uh, put off by it. I was very determined to get the book out. So I went ahead to my graphic designer, we put it together, there's a lot involved. You have to apply to England for your ISBN numbers and you have to barcode so that the books can be sold in the shops. So he sorted all that out for me. He was absolutely brilliant. I printed 2,000 copies of my first book, If I Were a Bee. I suppose I was being enthusiastic um, because with self-publishing, it's very hard to get them into the shops. You need a distributor. And it's difficult to get a distributor when you self-publish. It's not really an easy route at all. It's not for the faint-hearted. Um, I sold all the copies of If I Were a Bee, and I've had a reprint of that, and it is out in the shops at the moment and is available throughout the country. So I am really thrilled about that. When I started writing, I just wanted to write books for children and very simple books. My books are extremely simple and it, they explain about flowers, bees and nature. And I was, the bee book is about a bee who flies to different flowers collecting up pollen and nectar to make honey. They're quite educational and then everybody started asking me, when is your next book? And I said, oh I'll have to start working. So I took out my brushes and my paints and started painting. The second book which is called Jenny the Little Brown Hen inspired by my, by my grandchildren and my uh, neighbor's hen who was lonely and had no company and the story is about a lonely hen who uh, a, a rooster called Sylvester came to visit and now she has a family of her own and six little chicks and uh, that's the gist of the story. We're going to read Jenny the Little Brown Hen will never be lonely again my grandchildren still get great uh, uh, joy out of me reading the book to them and they love coming here and uh, want to go up to visit the hen or go down to Belvedere to visit the bees and it's very exciting still for me. I never thought at this age that I would have two books published and uh, one uh, translated into Irish uh, which I have and I'm working very hard at the moment on two new books. One is a spiritual book and the other is a children's book. And I have lots and lots and lots of ideas for the future. So I am only at the start of my writing career. If you told me this uh, five years ago, I would have said you were crazy. But when the opportunity came, 
I took it. And I believe that when opportunities come your way, you should always take them. There's a book in everybody, and everybody can write a book. And that's pure determination and following your dream.